Welcome back, Captains. We're down here at the New Smyrna boat ramp again, and it's a beautiful day. A couple of viewers come in, look at him waving. He's got a big smile on his face as he comes in there, and he got the front of that boat loaded up real good. Now he knows his end of the tide right here, and the boat starts to slip over there towards the dock. That's looking good. Look at that, nice and easy. He don't even have fenders out. It just looks good. Oh, but I did. You left that ladder down. Take a look at that. Well, the law's back down here again. I think this is Officer Grant or Graham, one of the two here. She's out here checking everybody's stuff right there, boarding boats. And while that's happening, this pontoon over here, he comes in. This is not one from the pontoon Pez dispenser, but he comes in all sideways. He puts in that holding position right there, lines it back up. As he's doing that, he's drifting over there towards those boats, but I think he's doing all right. Once one of these pontoons gets a little sideways on you, any wind on it has an exponential effect. It's going to blow you whichever way. That thing's like a big old sail. Now he gets it lined up and crosses hand over hand there. And I guess they do a stuff and go. They didn't even hook it up. Maybe it has one of them auto locks on it. Looks good. Now this Key West comes in. This is nice right here. He's got his fishing poles. Got his antenna up. Everything looking nice. But if you look over there in the corner, the law is over there. And she sees them fishing poles and she sees that you're hooked up to the truck. So you better hope you don't have anything in that boat you don't need to. She's going to take it all. Perfect shutdown. She gives him the size of the fish that he needs to throw back if he has any there with his fingers. And she sets up in a strategic position with a nice smile on her face. That smile means I'm coming to get you. Now, I don't know if it's me or not. If they didn't tell me to stop, I might just drive all the way to the other side of the parking lot. I guarantee to get a ticket then. She hops on in. And he's got the fish in hand. Look at that. Now she starts rooting around in the coolers, checking things, making sure other fish are in there, I guess. Now watch this. I couldn't get away with this. Now he gives her the finger for the size of what he's showing her right there. About like that long right there. And then he does it again. <laughs> Oh no, it looks like it's going well right there. She don't see anything and she's going to hop off. That's not a good spot to hold on to. That PVC pipe will snap right there. You'll be face down FWC up. Well, it looks like it went well. Now how's she going to stow his ladder when he's got to get off the boat? Now this guy says, I ain't getting boarded. Here you go. You can have this right here. I don't know what it is, but you can have it. She looks at it, smiles. The guy in the blue boat is probably thinking like, man, I wish I would have done that. Here's my card. Call me later. Thanks. Have a good day. She walks away looking baffled at it. I wonder what it is. Might be one of them fishing coins. I don't know. No ticket, just inspection. That looks good. 
Anyway, back to the good stuff over here. Now, in 2023, when this video was filmed, they have these things that you can get at the stores called walkie-talkies. And this guy's telling his bud to go a little bit further back out because he's deep. Now, if you don't know where those walkie-talkies are, they're a thing called in your pocket, and it's called a cell phone. Everybody has one. Man, look how deep he is. He's up there to the axle. Now remember, you just want the tip out. Just the tip of those bunks, and that's usually about it. Maybe about six inches or so. Some people like eight. I don't know. Something like that. You just figure it out. Not legal advice or any kind of boating advice, but you guys can find out. Based off of your own setup. Once he gets his bud in position right there, that's one of the most perfect, smoothest landings I've seen this day. Pushes it right up. And done. No funny business. Alright, she's back. She goes over and hollers at the jet skiers over there. Maybe because one of them's riding butts and nuts. I can't tell. Or maybe it's the wake zone. Now, you always want to be aware of your surroundings, no matter where you're at. There's rocks, there's oysters, there's mangroves, and one of them tickles you in the back like that, that means you're over there in the noceum nest. The biggest thing you got to worry about is the noceums getting disturbed, and then they start flying around, buzzing, and biting the shit out of everybody. Now, I realize some of my viewers may not be from Florida, but if you haven't seen a noceum, it's that thing right there, that little black speck, and they get in your hairs, and they get everywhere, and you never get them out, and they start biting. I got a photo under a microscope of one that's basically an infant, and this is what they look like when they're all grown up. Now, I tell you every time, boat ramps are slippery. They got a song about it. I think it's called, like, Slipping on the Dock of the Bay. Now, the grooves on the boat ramp, they're perpendicular to the length of the ramp here, which means when you jump on it sideways, you got no traction. Now, one of the guys in the boat said he had too many cokes today, buddy, but I'll tell you what, he handled that good. He didn't even spill that thing. Watch this. Well, I got another couple videos for you here. Uh, thank you guys for watching, liking, and subscribing. If you want to check out the links in the description, I got some new t-shirts and keychains and some of my favorite stuff on the website. Now, before you go, just make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button. We're going to teach you guys how to get your trailer off the ledge if you go too deep. The first step is don't go too deep. We got that video coming up on the next one, maybe Friday or Saturday. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. See you guys again soon.